Hey everybody, how you doing? Out at the range with Heavy Metal. This is about to be a really fun video, but what we're doing for this video is the best elk hunting cartridges. And I've brought out some of my heavy hitters today. I know there's gonna be that one squirrel that says, my grandpappy takes elk with his 22 LR in the ear hole. Well, okay, that's a bunch of nonsense, but these are awesome, legitimate elk hunting rounds. If you can shoot, you can drop an elk with these. I got my friends Paul and Paul out here, the Gunmeister and from Heavy Metal. They're gonna help me do some of the shooting. Let me move down the row here and show you what I got. We got a 450 Bushmaster. We got a 4570, a 30-06, 7-millimeter rim mag, 300 wind mag, which if you look at those, those all look pretty similar. Then we have the bigger 338 Lapua, and then the 50 BMG. All of these are big, heavy hitter hunting cartridges, but we're gonna alternate just having some fun, but take all these shots offhand and simulate like we're out there in the mountains elk hunting and just have some fun and shoot all these at some steel, have some distance, and see which one of these rocks that steel the hardest. But I'm gonna go load these up and we're just gonna alternate and have some fun shooting these heavy hitters. Go check it out. So we're just going down the row. Here's the rifles we're gonna shoot. Barrett M99 50 BMG. And then coming down here, this is my Remington 700 BDL in 30 out 6 iron sights. Next, we've got a Remington 770 in 7 millimeter rim mag, a matching 770 in 300 wind mag. Then we've got my Marlin 1895 and 4570, red dot on it. And we got my Ruger American Ranch in 450 Bushmaster. I took a whitetail with that last year. It's got a stereoscope on it. Then we have probably my favorite rifle, a Savage 110 BA Stealth. We've got a video drilling at a thousand yards with this rifle. It's got a Nikon FX 1000 on it. That's 338 Lapua Magnum. And yeah, we're going to blast all these offhand, shooting some steel a little bit longer range, and see if I'm ready to drop an elk with these babies. All right, we're just going to run down the uh, run down the row here. First, it's my Remington 700. I bought this from Paul at Heavy Metal. Somebody traded this in. This is an old BDL, and I absolutely love this one. It's got a jewel bolt, and hey, it's nice. But Let's see if I can hit that steel way out there just with these iron sights. Oh yeah! That thing kicked a little bit harder than I expected it to. I'm gonna set that one down. I'm actually gonna move this camera here. Aim it at us right here. Now this is the 770 300 wind mag. Got him. Got him. Now we got a 770 and a seven millimeter rim mag. You guys be paying attention to which one you think rocks the steel the hardest. None of these rifles are anything to snuff at. Ooh, that's a clear scope right there. Ooh. Got him again. Now, uh, now the gunmeister is going to bruise his shoulder two times with this 4570. You had to turn the red dot on. Press, on. Just press the plus sign right here. It's a really fine red dot. Those are 325 grain. No, those, those are 300 grain. That's a 405. Dang, I missed all together. I'll shoot the 450 Bushmaster. Yeah. Those I've got loaded up some 275 grain bullets, so that shouldn't kick too bad. That's a nice scope. That's a, that's a, 
steer cut. That's awesome. Now the 338. Oh, I got this. If I don't mess up. All right, 338 Lapua Magnum. Is that about right, Tootie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. And hair trigger, Paul, remember, hair trigger. Oh, I got my finger off of it this time. Oh, my God. Somebody's eating milk tonight. And now, the, uh, the very last elk gun right here we got the beard and we're gonna shoot this one offhand just like all the others we're up there in the hills of Montana dropping an elk oh boy rock is pretty good thanks for hanging out with us at the range me and my friends out here any one of these will absolutely drop an elk if you know what you're doing. Let me know your elk stories. I always love hearing from you guys and what calibers you like to use. A big shout out and a big thanks to my friends Paul at Heavy Metal and the Gunmeister channel. Y'all check out the links down below. Appreciate them helping me out with this video. Always appreciate shooting the big boys and probably save my shoulder a little bit on the way that on the way along there too. But appreciate y'all big time. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo hoo!